Well, welcome to today's uh, vinyasa practice, coming to a comfortable seated position. As you gently engage your navel and lift the crown of the head towards the sky. Take a few moments here to really tune in to the sound of your breath, to the inhalation and the exhalation. Just notice where your breath is residing, whether it's high in your collarbones or low in your navel. Maybe even closing your eyes down. Then gently opening your eyes, maybe even rotating your shoulders one direction and then the other direction. Then gently coming onto all fours with your shoulders above your wrists and knees below your hips. Knees shoulder width apart, or knees hip width apart, as you gently um, rotate your body, moving your body in one circular motion, bringing some weight onto your wrists and onto your palms, warming up those joints and the other direction. Keeping your navel drawn in, it's really important here to engage your navel throughout the practice. Then stepping one foot back and the other foot back into plank. Really strong in your plank here. Engage the core, engage the quadriceps, turn on those glutes. Really active. Then going straight into our chaturanga. Coming down and then pushing up. You can go on your knees if that's better for you like this. Inhale, exhale, coming down to chaturanga. Inhale, pushing up. Last time, exhale, coming down to chaturanga. Inhale, coming all the way up into your upward facing dog. Exhale, chin to chest, downward facing dog. Really enjoying the first downward facing dog of the practice. Bring the tailbone closer to the sky, revolving their shoulders away from each other, armpits towards each other. Press down with your hands into the earth as you create length from the crown of your head all the way to, towards your tailbone. Imagine your heels going towards the back of your mat rather than towards the ground. Maybe even bending your knees here to create more length if that feels better for your spine. Then as you inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the knee towards the chest and bring the knee towards your nose, really doming up and curling towards the spine. Inhale, finding length in the right leg, reaching the right toes up towards the sky. Exhale, draw that navel in, right knee towards right elbow and hold. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, right knee towards left elbow and hold. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, drop it down. Flowing here in your vinyasa, vinyasa, coming into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, broaden those collarbones. Exhale, downward facing dog. Resting in your downward facing dog or in your child's pose for two breaths. As you inhale, finding length in your spine. Exhale, see if you can now draw those heels further towards the ground, finding length in the hamstring as well, but no pressure. Inhale and exhale here. Lift the left leg up towards the sky. Then draw the navel in. Left knee towards nose. Maybe even kiss it. <laughs> Sending some love to your body. Inhale, left leg up towards the sky. Then left knee towards left elbow. Working your transverse abdominus with these moves. Inhale, left leg up. In exhale, really revolve that body. Left knee towards the right elbow. Inhale, left leg up, then drop the left leg down, resting here in your downward facing dog or child's pose, or you can flow here into another vinyasa. Coming into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. If you're in child's pose, coming into your downward facing dog, bend your knees, gaze between your hands, jump, walk, or step forward. I'm just gonna step, inhale, half lift, Exhale, fold. So first Uttanasana of the day, maybe interlacing your elbows and maybe just rocking from side to side. Feeling the shift of the weight along your feet. 
slowly release and vertebrae by vertebrae curling your body slowly engaging that core as you come up engage the glutes lift the arms up inhale exhale cactus those arms draw the navel in release the arms behind you interlace your fingers inhale lift the sternum up towards the sky maybe even gazing up exhale draw the navel in forward fold if it is in your practice draw the wrists towards each other and in engage the biceps and the triceps engage the core forehead towards your knees Release the arms, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now from here, jumping or stepping back into plank. Staying in plank for five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping down into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky. Now this time bring the right knee towards the right elbow and we're gonna drop it down, slide it down towards the wrist and then lift it up for one and two and three. Inhale, lift the left leg up, the right leg up, sorry. And then draw the right knee towards the opposite elbow. And again for three, drop it down towards the wrist and up towards the elbow, two, and one, really building strength here. Inhale, lift the right leg up, opening up the right hip, just the hip. So try to bring awareness to your shoulders, they're still square. Then release the right foot. Staying here for a rest or flow with me in a vinyasa. Exhale, inhale, engaging the core. Exhale, come meeting us in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up towards the sky now. And this time bring the left knee towards the left elbow. And again, dropping it down and up for three. Two. And one. Lift the left leg up towards the sky. Then left knee towards right elbow. Dropping it down towards the wrist and up for three. Two. And one. Lift the left leg up. Oh, I'm getting out of breath here. I hope you are too. Then bend the left um, left knee, opening up the left hip. Just the hip. So keep the shoulders square again. Then release the left foot down. Resting here or in child's pose or coming into your dolphin. So with dolphin, bring the forearms down. And tailbone towards the sky and maybe working on some dolphin drills here so bring the nose towards the fingertips engaging the core then back towards the elbows dolphin is great to work on for your arm balancing but also listen to your body and tune into where you feel you need to be right now whether that's resting in child's pose or working on some strength do what suits you in this present moment then meeting back in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee, place it between the hands, coming up to high lunge warrior. Inhale, lengthen the arms. Exhale, cactus those arms out. Inhale, find length. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. And then lean forward, inhale. Exhale, revolve your body towards the right staying here or opening up the arms out or taking a bind whatever is in your practice today knowing we won't be here for long slowly releasing frame the front foot pushing back into downward facing dog inhale and exhale coming forward to flow with me in plank chandrangana Upward facing dog, maybe even smiling on your face, as well as those collarbones. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up now. Finding length. Exhale, knee towards the chest. Place the left foot between your hands. Inhale, coming up, high lunge warrior. Exhale, cactus the arms out. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Lean forward. 
and exhale, twist with the right. Try to really revolve those collarbones out towards the left so your um, hands are in the middle of your sternum. Slowly release, frame the front foot, pushing back into downward facing dog. Then from here, bend your knees, gaze between your hands, jump, step or walk, slowly, slowly, <laughs> towards your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift your arms all the way up. Exhale, sitting back into Utkatasana. We're doing a lot of arms, so now really engaging the legs here. Draw the navel in, seat deeper. I encourage you to go even one inch deeper lower. <laughs> If you can, draw the thighs towards each other, shift the weight towards your heels, lengthen up through the arms, draw the navel in. Sit here for three more breaths. Inhale, exhale, two. One last deep breath in. And side out, one. <laughs> exhale, forward fold. Well done. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, jump us back into plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Nice. Take a, um, a nice relaxing breath here. And exhale, gently drop your knees towards the earth. And come into um, Virasana, seated pose. We're gonna stretch the back of our heels out now. So curl your toes under sit here for a moment if this is too intense you can lean forward and take some weight off your feet then placing the palms on the earth with your fingertips facing your knees this is a great way to um, open up all the acupressure points in your feet and in your hands so it may not feel like much, but over time you will learn to love this pose <laughs> to awaken those acupressure points in your feet and your hands. And slowly release. Then come to seated, draw your feet, bring your feet forward for Pashimottanasana, seated forward fold. Inhale, lift your arms all the way up, draw the navel in. Exhale, lengthen the arms forward. Find length in your spine as well. Engage your quadriceps. Release the arms down. You can grab onto your big toe if you like, or your feet, and fold the best you can. Then slowly releasing. Well done. Then we're going to come to the count of 10, lower ourselves down to Shavasana. So engage your core, lift the arms forward. If you want to challenge, you can come into full Navasana boat pose um, and go down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly release your body all the way down. Allow your feet to come apart, heels to come apart, and flop out palms facing the sky take a deep breath in and sigh one more time nice deep breath in and sighing shavasana is sacred rest and this is the time for you to rest and rejuvenate and allow the benefits of the practice to really percolate through all the cells in your body So staying here for as long as you like, if you have the time. Otherwise, slowly wriggling your fingers and your toes. Slowly turning to one side and pushing yourself up to seated position. Take a deep breath in, raise the arms above your head. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a moment here of gratitude for yourself for making the time to practice today. As always, worry less and appreciate more.
Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.